What happened once when you were out surfing and you punctured your cheek with the surfboard? Yeah. I got speared in the face by a huge board that I that uh, that I had built for riding Jaws. First, doing stand-up paddling at at Jaws, uh, which is where you stand on the board with a paddle and you paddle and you catch the waves. But I, I was out on an extremely windy day on Maui, and uh, the board flew and speared me right through the cheek, behind my teeth, but you know, below my temple. And I mean, it was it was a fortunate thing where it did spear me, but it. I told someone it was the first time I couldn't really hold my breath because the air just, you know, went out. But, uh, but I had a nice hole right through my face. And, uh, and then I caught, a, I caught another wave and then came in and... Right, you, but you caught another wave. Absolutely. <laughs> Always. When you can. I broke my collarbone at Jaws and rode a couple waves after, but it was, that was painful. And w uh, why do you make the decision to do that? So that you end in a completion, that you end completing it, that you, when you finished, you, you, you finished. You don't finish on a negative, you finish on a positive. And I think it's important, it, you know, the old cliche, you know, get back on the horse, it's, it's for a reason that they made that saying up. <laughs> uh, off the top of your head, uh, all the injuries you've had over the years, name as many as you can recall. Uh, I, I mean, I can start from the bottom, up like dis you know slip toe broken metatarsals broken arch seven or eight broken ankles uh acls um more than a thousand stitches with no operations until that point uh broken collarbone separated ribs uh broken hand broken fingers uh ac separation on the shoulder uh couple other slip discs, like uh, slip vertebrae from jumping off a cliff. Yeah, I, yeah, it just goes on. Do you have constant day-to-day -day pain? Um, I don't. I don't. I think I attribute that a lot to my diet and my lifestyle. I don't have I don't have day-to-day -day pain. I should probably if if I, uh, you know, I, I replaced my hip last year. Um, that was pretty painful. Uh, and, and only when I walked, so, you know, <laughs> only sore when I walked, but of all the injuries, what's been the most painful? I mean, my broken ankles were bad cause I walked on them. So the pain lasted a long time cause I just kept walking on them. Um, and I had compound that was, that was pretty, that was, uh, pretty painful. And didn't you duct tape them or duct tape the ankle? Well, I cut the cast off because I'd go surf on it, and then I and then I duct tape, yeah, duct tape the wound because I had a wound. So instead of keeping the cast on like you're yeah, supposed well, to, yeah, you well, duct cut it off and anyway, just yeah. uh, duct tape it. Duct taped it. Yeah, somehow that oh, was going to support it. And is that the yeah, that's ankle? this one, yeah. And that arch has been broken, all those metatarsals, and I had six or seven breaks separately, not just one time. When they're done with this, I want them. To, I don't want there to be any recycling. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> How do you view age? I, I think age is a mentality. I think it's a mentality. I think it's a decision. I think we decide if, if we're old or not. I see young guys deciding that they're old. I see old guys deciding they're young. I think you decide if you're old. I, I don't, I think at a certain point you go, oh, you're old, this and that. I go, yeah, but I think you're succumbing to that. I think it's a, I think it's a, a disclaimer for people wanting to stop. And the decision to start acting in a certain way. Yeah, or just, or not. A decision just to get out, to not have to do, take the effort to do what it takes to keep going. People get tired. Life's long, like they get tired of it. They're just like, hey, I'm just tired. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to just keep going. It's work, you know? I mean, it's effort. You gotta put effort in. But the option is, is that you don't get to do all this stuff. You know, there's a saying what you, that you know, you can never have too much fun. And I go, yeah, but they, per they, they forgot to tell you, you just have to be in really good shape to do it. You can never have too much fun, but you gotta have, be in really good shape to do it. Because fun takes work, takes effort. At least the sustainable fun, the, the, the kind I'm talking about, my fun. My fun, you gotta be in shape for my fun. If, you, if you're not, you're done, it's over. Oh,